hello everyone and welcome back to my channel long time no see today's video is going to be a classic finder update photo card haul basically everything that i've gotten over the last few months and i'll be honest with you some of this stuff i've had before last year ended <laughs> i just take a long time to gather all of my stuff together but it's actually probably going to be a shorter video today because i don't actually have that much stuff in terms of quantity some of the stuff in here is seriously some of the most exciting stuff for me in my collection that I've ever gotten my hands on. So some of it's all on the pricier side, so there's not that much in quantity. But I think it'll still be a fun little video even if it's on the shorter side. So let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to show though was something not photo card related, but something I'm really excited that I got to add to my collection finally. You can tell what it is. I feel like with the flood of people selling and dropping collecting or just bts in general it has been a prime time to be buying older items that i never thought that i would get my hands on because they're at historically lower prices at least in terms of when the price is increased i'm just saying you know it's a really good time to be buying older bts merch because a lot of people are selling it's basically a bad time to be a seller and a good time to be a buyer it has been my experience so far so <laughs> I was finally able to get my hands on the Butterfly Dream acrylic standees, which are so cute. I of course got the Beeman one, as these are my alts, but I'm very excited to have the group one as well, and I just really love the HYYH era, and I'm so happy that I got to add these to my collection. I can't wait. Someday when I graduate and have shelves, I will be displaying these on my shelves, so it's fun because I've started to let myself get more non photo card items that I can put up on shelves because I haven't had shelves readily available for display purposes for honestly a really long time now. So stuff like this, I'm so excited that I'm starting to be able to get my hands on because in about a year or so, I will have shelf space to display this kind of stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to show off this fine because this is something that I wasn't sure I was gonna collect, but at the right price, I knew I definitely wanted to, and I finally found it. So there is the Butterfly Dream stuff. Moving on though, let's first start with Japanese. I know I said in my last update video, which was so long ago at this point, I don't even remember what I put away or said in that video, but I was trying to get all of my Japanese stuff together before I showed it to you again, and honestly, I can't lie, that just didn't happen. <laughs> Here is my Japanese collection. I guess I could like, uh, I don't think I'll go through the whole thing because I definitely, it's still in flux and it's not where I want it to be yet. So I'm just gonna go through it and then I guess everyone can see a full entire flip through at the end of the year once I hopefully have finalized everything and then you'll just get to see the little updates along the way. Okay, first order of business is we are finishing the fan club renewal section for at least the hollow PCs. Obviously, I don't have all of the postcard size things, but I do think I have all the photo card size things of the cards that I personally want to collect. So here is Junie's Magic Shop Renewal. I doubt the hollow is coming up, but you know it's hollow. I love this card of him so much. Him in the glasses is just everything. So in he goes. And that is my completed Speak Yourself and Magic Shop Renewal page. I'm in love with it. I'm really excited to fix this filler. I think ideally I'd love to get one of the group cards but it's definitely not a priority by any means at all it would definitely be a purchase of opportunity if i saw a good price because honestly the filler is fine with me too i just want to make a higher quality filler so anyway that is that done i love it i can't believe it it's one of my favorite pages those cards are seriously so gorgeous and so anyway we are now jumping all the way to youth which is this section don't pay attention to this. This is still in process, but this is actually some exciting updates because it also shows you, look at this custom page that I made. I don't know if you can see it, but I did move the line over, move the line out, and then I am making them all the same size. And it's because I wanted these size inclusions to fit in here properly without having to be taped in. So for this page, I was able to track down Jimin's youth venue photos. 
so you got these when you bought youth at the venue i don't know how many you got per purchase but there are a lot of individual member photo cards and then there are also some unit ones as well so i have all three of jimin's and then this is his youth handshake postcard photo I guess it's a photo and this was when you won the handshake with whichever member they stamped their signature onto the postcard and then handed it over to the person who was in line so that's what this is this is the youth handshake and it goes right here i'm really happy with the quality of mine there's like the tiniest little smudge right here but in general it's in pretty good condition because i know some of these whether the member or the person who won would touch this too early and then it would smear all over the place and I've seen some with like fingerprints right here. I was debating buying a Taeyong one that has a huge fingerprint on it but I decided to hold off because I'm hoping that I can find one that is in slightly better quality but definitely finding Tae's has proved much more difficult than Jimin's for some reason. Not even just in terms of price, it's more in like I find Jimin's for sale quite often in comparison to how little I find Taeyong's for sale. Hey! So anyway, there is that page. I really like how it looks with the custom sleeves that I made and I'm just a big fan of these in general. I'm really excited that I got to find someone who was selling all of Jimin's at once and I just decided to buy it because these are pretty hard to track down individually sometimes. So anyway, I was also able to complete his youth venue cards as well. So I'm gonna do the same setup basically because he's gonna be in this outfit in the youth handshake one, just like Jimin is in the same outfit as one of his venue limited ones. So I think I'll just do it like that. So those outfits are kitty cornering and then the other outfits are kitty cornering. So yay, I'm very excited about these just because in general they're harder to track down. So there they are, safe and sound. Last but not least in this Japan binder, we are going to Lights Boy With Love for a very quick update. I was looking through all of my stuff because I am actually getting ready to leave for the summer to go work somewhere else, try to get all of my stuff in order. And I found this, realized obviously this is the same concept. And so I think I'm just gonna trim the top because I definitely have another one of these intact, but I thought it would make a great filler for this section. So I think I'm just gonna snip off that top part and leave the sticker obviously intact and have this be the filler of this page. I haven't done it yet, but I plan to, but it'll look similar to Fake Love Airplanes Part 2, something like that. But I thought that was a nice little addition to use as a filler just because obviously with these eight setups that I'm doing, I always have the middle empty. So I always gotta try to find something fun. So I'll get around to cutting that soon. But lastly, I have Jimin's Lights Boy With Love Flyer that I'm just gonna stick right here for now. I still haven't decided if I'm going to collect all of the flyers, but I did have this one lying around for quite a while. I'm pretty sure I bought this from Esther like sometime in 2021. I'm not even kidding. And I've never put it away. So that's me finally putting it away to decide if I do want to add more of the flyers to my collection. I'm feeling more like I do. Probably not all of them, but a few of them, some of the changing jackets will be fun to add in. So I wanted to add this in and we'll probably add a few more to my collection as the year goes on. But those are all of the Japanese updates. Like I said, I promise someday soon you'll see all the layouts of it, but I'm pretty sure you can get a good idea of what's happening in this binder. But anyway, I will grab the next one. Okay, we are back in my tour and muster binder. I just have a quick little update. I was really excited to get my hand on these. This was also kind of an opportunity purchase. Once I saw the right deal for them, I was like, this is my time. So I did purchase Jimin's First Japan Showcase, which is, I believe, actually the earliest entry into this binder. So hopefully I put this page in right. I don't really know. I've been in finals for two weeks and so my brain is kind of fried and I'm also hoping that this video is going to go up the same day that I film it. So I'm just kind of like delirious right now. I do believe Japan Showcase though is the first entry because I think it happened in 2013. So these are Jimin's three cards. I made this pocket page again as you can see 
to hold them in place and so they would not need to be taped in or anything and they wouldn't kind of fly out of these three pocket horizontals and I just think they're the cutest things in the world. I kind of debated a different setup because obviously one of his is vertical and maybe once I get Taeyong's, I will try to do something different. But for now, I kind of like it like this, even with the different orientation. A lot of times this stuff doesn't personally bother me. So I don't know. Well, I think I will readdress it once I get Taeyong's full set. But for now, I'm super excited to have Jimin's full set complete. And I'm really happy with this pocket page that I made so they just perfectly fit in. That's just been my absolute favorite thing to do with my collection lately is instead of buying 8 million types of sleeves and pocket pages and all that stuff, just making my own has been so much fun. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with the product of it. Obviously it's not as perfect as if a manufacturer made it but for my purposes I think they look nice so I'm really happy with this page and looking for tangs for sure. Whenever I get one, it always puts the other one I'm missing closer to the top of the list of the priorities. So hopefully I will be able to find tangs this summer. That is all in Torn Muster though, because like I said, a lot of my Torn Muster collection right now is just an opportunity purchase. If I see a historically good price, I will go for it. And if I don't, I don't. So we need to move on now and into this binder, which as you can tell, is not a real binder. Look how much room is left in it. My collection to no one's surprise, is in a complete state of disarray again as it relates to how I am separating sections. So what used to be in here is my larger DVD inclusions, but because I put DVD momentarily back into an A4, I thought I would put my larger DVD inclusions into that A4 as well, which you will see in the next binder because I think I have an update in there. But regardless, taking all that out left a lot of space in here, which is generally is what I refer to as my exhibition binder. But I'm not gonna lie, I certainly do use that exhibition label loosely. I also have like the docu-series and TV stuff in here, so let's just skip to that and go to exhibition. So I do start with Butterfly Dream and oh my gosh, I forgot I put this page here because I'm going to be so lazy. Like I just want to say I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do right now. I'm not actually going to put them away in the final resting spot of them because I am lazy and these are taped in, which as I've said a million times and I know you're tired of hearing me say, I will eventually untape and I will make a custom sleeve and page for all of this stuff. So in the meantime though, I'm going to use this page here to just put this stuff away safely. So I guess I'll start with these two. These are two of Nam June's Butterfly Dream cards, obviously, and I have this one as well of him. So I'm going to end up with three Nam June Butterfly Dream cards, which is exciting. So he will probably have his own three pocket page eventually. I clearly have three of Taeyong's and then I do have this. Now I was having a conversation with Victoria or her hope world my favorite rare collector in the world several months ago at this point because like I said I hoard on to things for a while but I had asked her why some were undisclosed and some weren't because I'm a dum-dum and she was telling me that HYYA fan signed photos and HYYH 500 signed photos are often confused so the HYYH 500 photos that have member signatures on the back those are the ones that stay disclosed but most of the HYYH if not all fan signed cards have been disclosed so I will just go like this. If you want to see what this image looks like, here it is. You can see it. I just don't want my video to be used to scam someone, but you can find this image everywhere. Like I've seen this photo sold like three different times and sometimes it's blurred and sometimes it's not. So I guess I'll just try to prevent like a clear like screenshot of being taken of it but it is a disclosed image as you can see i'm sure if you've seen fan sign unit photos before you've seen this image but this is obviously jimin and taeyong and it is an hyh fan sign photo so i'm going to put it here for now i guess like <laughs> I know it's silly, it's fine. They're, they've all been disclosed. So like, I feel like from this far away, like it's fine, it's fine, right? 
I'll just block it a little bit when I hold it closer to the camera because I just I'm always worried that if I am holding cards too close to the camera someone could use that as proof and like scam someone with it so just sit there it's fine obviously these are not for sale and should not be used for anyone sending proof that they have something for sale. So anyway, this was an exciting addition that I got a couple months ago. It was definitely an opportunity purchase. That's clearly the video term of the day. A lot of these things that I'm updating today are all opportunity purchases based on like good prices and coming across the listing and obviously having the physical opportunity to purchase the item. So that was definitely an item of opportunity. I don't think I really planned and to pursue a lot of fan sign photos actively but you never know when the right deal will pop up so everything kind of came together for me to be able to get this card so I decided to get it because it's a cute little unit card I don't actually know how many of the fan sign from HYYH cards there are out in the world because like I said I have seen this card be sold more than once I don't know how many are actually being sold but it shouldn't be too high an amount I'm not entirely sure. If you do know, drop a comment down below. But yeah, so this is a disclosed HYYH fan side photo, and then these are two of Nam June's Butterfly Dream cards. So what I will do is I have three Taeyong Butterfly Dream cards, I have three Nam June Butterfly Dream cards, and then I obviously have their Butterfly Dream unit as well. So I'll probably put their two units together and maybe get a singular Jimin Butterfly Dream photo and do three, and then have three of Nam June's and three of Taeyong's. As I always say butterfly dream is never ever at the top of my priority list because they are just printed photos at the end of the day I just have to come across the right deal or you know what I'm gonna say opportunity <laughs> and then I will be you know more inclined to buy it I think that's my current plan for now because I definitely am not going to be engaged in collecting all of them though I do commend the people that try we will move on now into my DVD binder okay into the DVD binder now. So I do have a very ill-placed update, but I do want to put it away. I've had it for a while. I was just kind of holding on to it to see if I got any more before putting some on the page, but I haven't because I'm pretty picky about the quality of these cards. Obviously, a lot of them are not in the best condition. A lot of them feel and just look very scratched down and beat up. So I found Tang's epilogue in really good condition. I definitely have seen that the onstage ones tend to look a lot worse than the epilogue ones but I found Taeyong's for super 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 inexpensive and in really good condition so I decided to grab it. Epilogue does come before third muster and fan meeting so it does have to weirdly go in the front for now but hopefully putting it away will inspire me to be a little bit more active in my searching for the remaining cards that I want to purchase. I think it, what I will end up doing is Vemin will only be a four pocket, so it's possible maybe I could get one of Namjoon's and one of Yoongi's. I think that could be cute. Also because they have really iconic hair colors in theirs, and I'm particularly obsessed with the pink Namjoon for on stage. So I don't know, maybe we'll see. Like I said, it all comes down to if I could find a good price, but also a good condition. Because I just really don't like those peeling cards. I'd rather just not have it in my collection than have one that's peeling. So that's where I'm at with this. Hopefully this inspires more direct effort into finding these. But I did integrate the larger inclusions into my binder. So here's an example of that. Obviously we have their Sao Paulo bookmarks and then we have the London bookmarks and then we have the fifth muster blu-ray and then the fifth fan meeting blu-ray cards and I just really liked how the larger inclusions kind of integrated into this collection for now. So because of that I have also included the very end where I have the season's greeting stuff. So if you've seen my flip through then you know I already own Taeyong's but so excitingly I was able to purchase Jimin's recently for a really good price. I honestly was not expecting to be able to get it this low. I had actually put this card on my high priority list of 2023 so I was actively looking for it and I was able to find it for a lot lower than I expected. That was really exciting. So I made, you guessed it, 
custom sleeves and custom pages for this. So I've been really obsessed with making sleeves that allow me to double sleeve traditionally un double sleeveable that's definitely not a real word but you know what i'm trying to say historically un double sleeveable cards i have been making sleeves for so i made this outer sleeve and here is the inner sleeve typically i would have just kept it in this inner sleeve like this it would have been fine but now that i have found the powers of making my own sleeves i have double sleeve tip because of course i have i am me yes sir that's right and this is just a regular two pocket andy jack page that i have modified to hold these nicely into place. So I didn't even say what these are. If you are unaware, these are the benefits if you pre-ordered all three items of the 2014 diary, which is considered the season's greeting, but I believe it was a bandana slogan in the actual diary that you had to pre-order and then you got a random raw photo of one of the members. So they always say around 600 diaries were printed and that's where you get those cards from, from the actual diary. But then these, you actually had to pre-order all three items, which I believe I said right. I hope I did. If I didn't, I'll correct myself up on the screen. There's actually, by that logic, less of these in circulation, but I am unsure if anyone has ever tried to figure out how many were actually sent out, but I'm very excited to have these. I dream about Yoongi's so much in his little apron, and I hope someday that I'm able to get it because I really do want Yoongi's, but for now, I'm very happy with this, and I think they look great as a little lead-in to this season's greeting section. So I will get into the last binder, which is what I am most excited for my best find in a while I gotta say and I will stop stalling and go grab it okay we're back in the album binder I didn't contemplate where exactly I was going to put this merch item because it is the first of its kind in this collection and so I haven't really thought about the places that I want to put them if I get more but I thought the album binder made the most sense for now so so excitingly I tracked down both Jimin and Tay's Beijing fan sign cards, so I do in fact know that people usually blur and watermark these signs, so I'm going to try to not flip them both around at the same time so I can put up a blocker, but this is Young's. I did make a custom sleeve to no one's shock. It's a little not my best work but I was low on time and I really wanted to protect them. So I will definitely probably go back and fix that. But this is his and these are signed on the back. They are from School Love Affair era fan sign in Beijing. And as you can see a little bit, there is his signature. So very exciting. And then I'll show you Jimin's. This is also in a nice double sleeve as you can see. And his looks like this and then his sign on the back so Jimin actually wrote two like the members typically do but Taeyong didn't write two on his he just wrote the name so I just thought that was a funny little quirk of the cards but I'm just really happy that I was able to track these down someone was having a clearance price and I have never ever seen these so low since I've been collecting personally and the fact that I was able to get both of them at the same time sealed the deal because I am a double alt collector so I sometimes don't like to buy unless it's an outrageously good deal or something that I know I'm inevitably going to collect anyway for this harder to get stuff that is I'm sorry to say it again, more of an opportunity purchase. I am much more likely to buy them if I'm able to get Jimin and Taeyong at the same time or if I know that I'll be able to get the other counterpart in the future just because it makes my life as a double collector so much easier when I kind of have a pathway forward. And so there they are. I am obsessed with these pages. I'm really freaking happy that I was able to get them. I will flip it over, but like I said, I, I don't want to ever accidentally aid in someone getting scammed. And I have seen most people put watermarks over their signatures when they show these off. So I will just continue to do the same and block it. But that is what they look like on the back. That is the last edition of today's update. I hope that you enjoyed it. I 
do apologize for still not putting away face and d-day i just didn't want to like a quarter put away my stuff and then have to keep going back to it over and over again it's not going to be everything but it's mostly everything so i will be coming at you with a face and d-day video very soon i'm really excited to show you what i collected for both and how i set them both up and so do look forward to that if you are interested otherwise thank you for watching this video this was the last of the stuff that had to be put away i am done with my second year of grad school and will be really all over the place this summer so i will definitely try my best to keep updated but definitely expect to hear less from me this summer just because i'm not going to be with my full collection i will talk to you all later i can't wait to talk about my d-day experience and the merch that i collected for d-day and that will all happen in the next video so please subscribe if you want to see more content from me you can like this video if you enjoyed it and comment if you want to otherwise i hope you have a really good day and i'll see you all soon bye get the hell out